Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about how to make this parametric skin to our project from scratch with a few simple steps. You can use this easy technique for any project. So without any further to do, let's get started. In Revit, uh, we will use a default metric template. First of all, make sure to set your unit in centimeters to follow up with this video. Of course, you can set the unit later on how you usually design. Our building have four levels, so in order to do that, copy the levels two times. Select the floor and from clipboard, use copy and paste to align selected level. Create wall by using big line from draw list and make sure to set the base level at level 1 and top level at level 2. Set top offset 30 cm below level 2. Draw store front wall above the created wall. From level 2, draw another type of curtain wall exterior glassing. Go to edit type and then active automatically end. You can adjust the visual viewport setting from graphic display menu by clicking GD on your keyboard. Create new mask from massing and side tab. Use SP line from draw list and start drawing a random shape around your mask. Select all the SP lines and create four.
active x-ray after you select the shape so you can modify the spline points easier. Select the shape and active divide surface, and then disable the X-ray. Select the divide surface and from this arrow, enable nodes. We need to create a new family and we will use a generic model adaptive template. Add a reference point, select it and make it adaptive. Draw a circle on the vertical plane Select the circle and make the dimension permanent by clicking on the icon below it. Click on the dimension and make it parameter. Copy the point with the same divide surface number plus 1. In this situation we will make 21 copy. Select all the points and use selection filter to pick only the reference line and create four. We can edit the parameter from type properties. After that, click on load into project. From 3D view, use this family and spread it on the nodes of divide surface. Select the family and click on repeat.
you can find all the templates that we used in the description below. Finally, I hope this video was useful for you and if you have any question about this video or any new ideas about more tutorials, you can put it down in the comment. Don't forget to support us to make more tutorials. Thank you for watching.